Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, in this video I wanted to talk about the Scheidelhau in isolation. So the Scheidelhau is a high vertical strike. Okay. Step back a little bit more so you can see it. High vertical strike. Uh, and it's one of those strikes that's kind of almost underused uh, in, you know, uh, in the Lichtenauer system. Uh, Lichtenauer basically tells us that we're going to use this to even break Kron. So Kron, somebody's standing in, in the guard like this, which I don't know who would be standing in the guard like that. But if somebody, you know, because the cross guards are really not that wide, so I'm not sure who would be standing like that. But if somebody's standing in the guard like that, he tells us to use that shadow how to basically come over the cross guard and hit him on the uh, on the top of the scalp, or he tells us if somebody's attacking the legs or standing uh, in the full guard, uh, in the Albert guard, and for some reason is not moving, which again, I don't see why they would be doing that. Uh, basically, you can you know, you know can uh, use this strike to attack the top of the head, and the reason is because the distance going across is shorter than the distance going down diagonally. Um, so, so my opinion is that it is, it is, it is underused uh, in longsword combat, but it is extremely effective in shield uh, on shield combat, you know, or even just against the shield. Um, the way most you know people typically will often hold their shield, especially a hero shield, where you have that that opening here, or even if this was a kite or a coffin, uh, basically there's going to be a gap between the sword and the, the edge over here, and and this V right here is a great place to put your blade. So that's going to come in right, right into that V, and strike right into the face or into the top of the head. Okay, so you can strike there, you can actually you can even strike around, get around the blade that way, or you can strike around and get around the blade that way. So let me, let me grab a sword and shield that we'll talk about a little bit more. You know, this is one of those strikes that really, you know, leads me to kind of conclude that the Lichenauer system was not just meant for, um, um, for, 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 you know, longsword fighting or, or for, you know, fighting with two-handed swords against other two-handed swords. Because this is a perfect example of a strike um, that, that is a lot more effective against a shield. Because basically as I hold my shield like this, okay, uh, I typically hold my my sword crossed over the top or this type of sword anyway if i'm using a type x i have to use a guard like this because the sword has to stay back here with a heavier sword but with this lighter type 14 uh which i fight from a more short forward position right because it gives me faster attacks um i'll, I'll basically keep the sword back here keep the cross guard right behind the corner of that shield if um if I start getting tired, or if somebody starts throwing like Zorchow's left, right, left, right, like the, like uh, in uh, I think it Liglinser's play number four, where he's Zorchow left and right, you know you're going block here, block here, block here. Basically things start opening up a little bit. So basically that that sword, because it, it's a lot, you know, basically holding the sword diagonally here is a little bit more tiring. As you get tired, you're gonna want to hold it like this because holding the sword vertical. Um, is a lot more rested. Okay, it is a more rested guard. So, so as I get tired, I'm probably going to move from this position slowly to that position, uh, and that's a perfect opportunity to bring that shadow how uh, right down that center right there. I mean, if you have to get tired, if you start losing it, I would say at least bring your hold it like this and get that that cross guard uh, in this position here, so that at least you have some some protection because um you know this is a strike that people um use use against me pretty effectively um and it's one of those strikes that when i get hit i'm like damn i know better i should have had that block you know uh but basically from, from here you just come straight down right right into that v between the sword and the shield i mean you can just even step to the side a little bit step to the side a little bit but that's an ideal spot right there right between the sword and the shield um, so, so this is a great sword and shield strike, uh, and of course you can do all sorts of stuff like follow it up with a thrust. So if you if you end up short, you can always uh, you know thrust you know continue through with your thrust. So um, you know it was a great strike, one of uh, uh, Lichtenauer's uh, five master strokes, um, and like I said, I think that it's a lot more effective with sword and, in sword and shield combat uh, than it is in uh, two-handed sword combat. I mean, I really don't see people using it that often unless somebody's just sitting, 
in that low, you know, in that low albergue, just you know, kind of falling asleep. I mean, I, I don't see people using it too often. But uh, if you got any questions or comments, please post them. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. See you guys next time.